Our next biology topic is entitled energy flow, and this is just all about how energy travels from the sun and pretty much down food chains really. So just to make sure we're all clear on what we mean by a food chain. Food chains are just telling us what eat what, what eats what, sorry. And they all start with the sun. So if we just start with the sun here, so this is my food chain down at the bottom. And this is the sun, where it all starts from. Uh, our next step in our food chain is our producers. Oops, sorry about that. Is our producers. Now our producers are going to be plants because they use the energy from the sun in photosynthesis to make sugars. So next up we have our producers. Our producers then get eaten, so consumed by our consumers. So we've got our primary consumer, so our grasshopper is eating our grass. Then our shrew eats our grasshopper. And then our owl eats our shrew so that's how the energy travels along um these can be just simple chains like this one or they can be webs so it could be um so for instance grasshoppers will get eaten by more than one creature grass absolutely gets eaten by more than one creature so it, they get a bit more complicated but they're all basically the same thing and um, we can talk about them as being trophic levels so after we go past the sun we get our producer which will be our first trophic level then our second third and fourth trophic level. It's just telling us um, how far along the chain we are of things being eaten. To try and represent how much energy travels through these uh, chains, we can do something called uh, pyramids. We can either do a pyramid of biomass or a pyramid of numbers. So a pyramid of biomass is where we um, draw a box to represent the mass of the organism at each level. And by biomass, we just mean the dry mass of the living material at each stage. So we take the organism, remove all the water from it, and then find out what its mass is, because then that's a um, fair way to compare. Obviously, this does kill the organisms in question, so it does present problems that way. But the idea is that the width of the box just shows you how much there is. So for instance, just look across here, there we go, we've got lots and lots of rosebush, the mass of the caterpillars is less and the mass of the birds is less because as we go along there's um, less energy being passed along. Right then, the other option is a pyramid of numbers and for this one it doesn't have to be pyramidally shaped so don't panic if it doesn't look like a pyramid. What we do is instead of the width representing the mass, the width represents how many organisms there are. So here we've got one rose bush, which has got a really narrow bit, then 50 caterpillars, which is really big, and then our two birds, which go after. So this shows us how many organisms there are. And it's another way of showing how uh, the food gets passed along. So which is better? Well, pyramids of biomass are better for looking at trophic levels, but they are harder to construct. Uh, this is because some organisms might be at more than one level and measuring the biomass remains, means removing all the water so we would have to kill the things. So if we're looking at food chains that involve human beings, it's highly unethical to uh, start thinking about biomass really. As I said, we're using these to look at um, how energy gets passed along these food chains. Now each step along the way, some energy gets used up by the organism in question. And it gets used for various things. So it gets used for growth, respiration, ingestion, and excretion. So all the energy that gets used for growth makes the organism bigger. So that's the energy that basically gets passed on. But anything that's used for the other three things kind of gets lost. Now, anything that's lost via excretion could be used to start a new food chain. But in essence, up to 90% of the energy can be lost in each step of a food chain. So that's why we tend to get smaller um, biomass at the top because we're losing energy as we go along because it's being used for other things. And that is pretty much it for biomass and pyramids of numbers. Just got to think about what's happening to the energy really. Okay, so remember if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask.